I'd like to share with you something very nice in this week's parsha, Emor, from the Rebbe's father, Rebbe Levi Yitzhak Zatzal. This week's parsha speaks in the latter part all about the Korbonois, all the Yom Toivim. Hashem explains each Yom Tov. When it comes to Shavuos, we count, we go out and try him. We count 49 days, Spirit Soimer. And then on Yom Tov of Shavuos, the 50th day, is a unique carbon. It says you should bring two shlomim, a peace offering, two, and also two chalas. We don't have that by any other Yom Tov, only on Shavuos. What's the reason of this? Shlomim and also white two breads. Experience of Levi Yitzchak, the Gemara says in Avoid Zora, the Avtesa Maralot, that we know there'll be 6,000 years till Mashiach comes. That's the maximum. The Gemara explains that the first 2,000 years was toyu, it was chaos. From when the world was created till Avraham Avinu was born, it was 2,000 years. From when Avraham Avinu was born, the Jewish nation started, which led up to the giving of the Torah. The Torah is what's called Oilam Atikun. That will correct and fix all the chaos and all the toyu, the brokenness of the world that happened in the first 2,000 years. It will correct and elevate the world. And that's the reason of two shlomim and two breads. The two symbolizes that the Torah is going to come and bring and elevate and fix the world from the destruction and this chaos that happened in the first 2,000 years. With this, Rabbi Levitzel explains something very, an interesting remez. We spoke many times in the end of Pashas Vayishlach, in Perik Lamed Vov, at the end, from Posig Lamar Fanan, it describes seven kings of Edoim, which were the descendants of Esau, which is, they're the kings of Oilam Atoyu. And that's why it says, doesn't say by anyone they had wives, it says they died. So these are the seven kings symbolizing Oilam Atoyu. The first one, who he's like the head, started it. His name was Bela Ben Boer from the city of Din Hobo. Everything has an in interesting remez. Serve Rabbi Levi Yitzchak. If you take the word Shlomim and Lechem, it will add up exactly to the name of the first king, is Bela Ben Boer Din Hobo, symbolizing that this Kobe Shlomim which was brought on Shavuot the day the Torah was given, will bring Shlomim. Shlomim comes from Shalom, from, from peace, and also it will correct. It will bring Shlemus, completeness, from the problem of Toyu. And look at this remez. Shlomim adds up to 240. I'm sorry, 220. Shlomim adds up to 420, I'm sorry. 420. Lechem adds up to 78. Together it's 498. Now let's take the names. Bela is 102. Ben, 52. Boor, 278. Din Hova, 66. So I have 102, 52, 278, 66. Also adds up exactly to 498. So Shlomim, 420. Lechem, 78. Together, 498 is exactly the same gematria as the first king. Everything is exact in the Torah. Every letter, you see how it fits so much? Because this is Zel Umazer. Who will come and fix the problem from these kings? Well, the first one is this Bela Ben Boer from the Nova, from the Oilam Atoyu, from this chaos world. The Torah will come to fix it. And that's the Ramaz that on Shavuos, we bring Shlomim and Lechem, same numerical value as this king. And we bring two to symbolize that this will correct and elevate the world from the destruction and the chaos and the concealment of Hashem that happened in the first 2,000 years and from Avraham Avinu and the Torah 
we will, that's our job to elevate the world, and that will ultimately bring the world to its complete shleimus, with the coming of Mashiach, which will be the true Oilom Hatikon.